Question 7.1. When measuring the volume, the student's eye was in line with the level of the water. Which type of error would have been caused if the student's eye was not in line with the level of the water? That would be a random error because systemic error is to do with the instrument and zero error is to do with the instrument reading a value before you placed an object on it. Question 7.2. The students tied a piece of thick string to the metal ring and lowered the string into the water. Suggest so one reason why the student should have used a thin string instead of thick string. Thin string would affect the volume measurement less than the thick string because of the mass of the string. For question 7.3, table 2 shows the results. Volume of water in centimeter cube, 5. Volume of water and ring in centimeter cube, 5.4. Volume of ring in centimeter cube, 0 0.4. Yes, you take that away from there to get that. For 7.3, the true volume of the ring was 0 0.44 centimeter cube. Even without using the string, the measuring cylinder could not give an accurate value of the volume of the ring. Give one reason why. The measuring cylinder could not be used to measure to two decimal place. Because if you look at the measuring cylinder, it can only measure to one decimal place, not two. Because you get two, so you can get two point. This is three. So that would be 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, 3. And also you can say all the resolution of the measuring cylinder is 0 0.2 centimeter cube because each little line is 0 0.2 and that gives the resolution which is what we're talking about here. This is only one decimal place, not two decimal place as we are saying here. Question 7.4. The student used a balance to measure the mass of the ring. After the ring was removed from the balance, the reading on the balance was 0.02 grams. How could the student use the readings from the balance to determine the correct mass of the ring? Subtract 0.02 grams from the measured value. Question 7.5. The student determined the density of the ring was 21,500 kilograms per meter cube. The volume of the ring was 0 0.44 centimeter cube. Calculate the mass of the ring. Use the physics equations sheet. Give your answer in kilogram. Four marks. We need to remember that that is the density and density rho, this is rho, equals to mass over volume. And the unit of mass is in kilogram and the unit of the volume is meter cube here. But the volume given to us is in centimeter cube. So we need to convert the cent centimeter cube into meter cube. Cent, as you see it here, that C is cent, centimeter. And that means 1 over 100 or 10 to the power minus 2. So for us to convert the volume, which is 0 0.44 centimeter cube, that's actually cube for all of those two together. So the cube is applying to both cent and meter. So we need to then write 0 0.44, 10 to the power minus two, we're replacing the C with 10 to the power minus two, and then we put as a cube, and then we got a meter cube, because a cube is applied to both of these, and we've shown it here. So we replace the C with that. Applying the indices here, this will be 3 times minus 2. And therefore, you will get 0 0.44 times 10 to the power minus 6. Because 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. And we got the meter cube. Now we got the volume. But this is 0 0.44 times 10 to the power minus 6. If I times this by 10, I have to divide that by 10. In order to change this 0 0.4 to the 4.4. .4. Times this by 10 to get it forced to first figure here. 10 to go there, or I can just move this, and this one will go up as well. So if I times that by 10, I have to divide that by 10. To counterbalance the 10, I've multiplied it by. And if I divide 10 to the power minus 6 by 10, that will be 10 to the power minus 7. So I get 4.4 .4 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter cube. And now I can apply the formula for density. Rho is for density, RHO. I'm looking for mass, so I need to multiply both sides by 
volume to make m the subject m equals to rho times v and now i can populate the values here the density is 21500 kilogram per meter cube and the volume is 4.4 .4 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter cube when we multiply those two together we get mass to be equal to 0 0.00946 kilograms look at the unit they wanted us that means we have to write that you can convert that into significant figures by moving that one two three because you move it back you have to write minus three or times it by a thousand times ten times a hundred times one thousand and then divide it by a thousand if you divide by a thousand that will be ten to the power minus three and if you times these by a thousand you're going to get nine point four six so that's what we've done in kilogram and so we have to put it at insignificant figure there 9.46 times 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram.